But hey there, buddy bucks. Welcome back to Deanie the Garage. And welcome to an episode on Barney, my one-eyed, one-horn, fine people purple eater. Yep, that's what she is. She's Barney, known as the Snow Machine. And uh, we've got a short series of videos for you guys uh, today coming out on um, getting, getting her ready for the snow... Uh, dump that's coming we're gonna get about 21 inches of snow coming in the next three days and she's in no way ready for the storm so um in short we're gonna go over what the series is gonna be on and then we'll just kind of start getting into things so i've got one plow light missing i gotta fix so and a weld broken on this light tower and uh fixing my winch cable and i need a new blower motor in her so yeah that's gonna be the quick stuff is Part one is going to be fixing up this whole front plow setup, fixing the uh, light bar, getting the light back on, fixing my bump stops. I'll have those broken. You can see they're bent up. This is so that the plow can come up and hit. So a lot of people ask how this plow is built, and I'm going to go over it real quick with you guys. So uh, let's go over that first and uh, get at her. What this plow consists of is a snow bear plow system modified the heck to mount to my Jeep to be heavy duty. So if you can see here, I've got my big old seal bumper and my winch recessed in there. Tied into my frame underneath here, bolted with some big old bolts up there. And then you got my front hitch with the adapter for the front hitch and the plow system. And basically, it's all just tied together to the subframe itself. It's modified to the heck, like I said. Um, so let's just start with the modification. So when you get the snow bear system, it's going to be just this horn here. Right, this guy here. No light bars, no cross beams. And then you'll get the plow on the bottom. So as you can see here, I modified my plow, which has got more <laughs> broken too. I got to fix that. Um, with... Uh, some angle iron to make the, the pipes stronger on the bottom so if in case it hits something it doesn't bend and Then I built this light tower to tie into my bumper and the light tower gives me you know that triangle right here of strength to keep it from pull, Pulling back and pushing my whole subframe in it really Distributes the weight well and also holds it up really nice and tight uh, Before if you didn't do this it would just whittle around and wobble around so that's really a high end. I also did modifications to the plow. You can see I did angle iron in the back to brace it all the way through, welded straight to the plow, which gave it real strength. So if I hit something, it doesn't bend. Um, and that's just a real high level overview of what I did to modify the plow system. Um, and this is, oh, these bump stops when I fixed them, I'll tell you about these. Well, I'll, screw I'll tell you about it now. The bump stops are here based upon the fact that that's actually what my plow sits on. These angles hit here when it's fixed it's got all bent up um so that the plow doesn't go back and forth and it doesn't break my winch wire like it did because it would hit tight on the i guess the a arm here i guess i call it and it would snap the winch cable because of the tension but anyway that's again high level build of the plow system we're going to get at uh repairing her all up today and i'm not really sure where to start um well i know where i'm starting as i'm starting fixing the A-frame, and then fixing the plow. So let's get the A-frame going and my light going, and we'll have some fun. All right, as you always stated in our videos about welding and grinding, uh, welding and grinding, number one, be safe. I've got ear protection on and a face shield on. So, and the second thing, clean up all the rust off. Make sure it's good and shiny so you get good penetrating welds. welds. All right, guys, we cleaned this all out. It's all ready for some hot snot and to kind of make sure she's all tight again. I'm going to probably put a vice grip here and just make sure she's not moving out of place. I'm thinking that's exactly where I want her. That's a little better, not 100% perfect, but it was a better angle over here. 
that I didn't kill myself trying to weld it in awkward angles. So she's pretty rock solid now. Tighten this bolt up, she good to go. So next is we're gonna build the light mount for this guy. Alrighty folks, plan is to fix my light bracket with these guys. One there, one there, and uh, drill a hole and put a bolt in. I'm just trying to make this as easy as possible for myself. See, I got my light, I got my angle brackets. I'm gonna mark the low spot of each and just put my hole above that. So, bada bing, bada boom, and that should make making a light bracket, light bracket a little easier. Alrighty, I've got myself situated in the vise. Put some lube on my bit. We're just going for her. There we go. One and two. Not perfect, but we'll do the job. All right, that's basically what she's going to look like at the end of this. I got to take these ears off because I can't get a lot of adjustment forward. But looks like I only need to take off a little bit, not too much. Just like this corner and that corner. And uh, she should be good to go. So I'm going to get my marker, mark it up, and take my grinder and grind them down. So let's get yeah, later. All right, can't for my cutoff wheel. I grinded some, but I really want to do this a little, I need more off. So I'm going to use my sawzall. Hopefully it works. Well, that didn't work. I dropped you guys. A little too much power. Luckily, only thing I broke, I think, is my screen protector. So let's just see how she works now. Oh yeah, full articulation. That's what we're looking for. All right, we'll get the other one up here now. A lot of globs, a lot of hot snot, but it looks like it got the job done. Tighten her down a little bit. That's good enough for government work. We'll wire that baby in right here, seal her all up, call her a day. As you can see, did the basic wiring of an amateur four-year-old. And I'm going to uh, heat shrink them up and they'll be good to go. Next are these babies and move on from there. All right, first things first, you grab your BFH and we're going to get them back in the spot. Oh, that one's, might be all over for that one. When in doubt, get bigger, no doubt. Actually, I think it's more of my angle of dangle. She just went flat on me. Or I'm gonna break it right off. So I'll flap this that baby down and then get this one cooking. Well, I thought the flap disc could work, but it looks like uh, it's really not doing much. Um, but maybe I'll just weld on top of that. Move her out one more quarter inch. Like that. Now I'm going to grind it out. Alrighty, folk. Well, I got old brack tree mark, new brack tree marked up. I got all the old stuff pretty much ready to go. And it's time to drill some holes. Oh, 
This one should be all set. I couldn't get this stuff off and I lost the socket to it. Basically all she does is sit in there and this is just a car bump stop. So I got this idea, got this piece of angle iron. I'm gonna put it in here and draw a line, cut it, draw a line, cut it, weld it, and then do it the same to the other piece. All right, I have her locked in. I'm not sure how tight this is gonna work. You're gonna be shaking with it, so. Well, that didn't work well. I'm just gonna cut this and let you know how it goes. All right, got it set up. I'm gonna put this here like that and give her a tack. So here we go. Weld her on. And here's the fun part. I'm a left handy, so I gotta do this all backwards. All right, so that pretty decent. Get her all solder up now. All right. I consider that a hell of a truss. I'm only gonna do one for now, like I said. Ugh. But it should work out to my benefit from it bending down, bending in. So I'm gonna repeat that in the other one and then weld these guys back onto the plow system. So let's have at it. Alrighty folks, I am back. It is already snowing and I'm running out of time. Oh, my toolkit's about to fall off the truck. I'm gonna have to go fix that before it takes a nosedive. You can see it right there. <laughs> but I just spent the past two hours trying to find these guys. These are the bump stops I used to stop the plow from hitting my uh, A-frame. And if you wanna know the part number, it's 9.9101G. Usually Vance and AutoZone carry them. Vance might stop carrying them. AutoZone definitely does. That's where I got these today. I lucked out and found a set in town. So I'm gonna finish up welding all this stuff up. Alrighty, buddy bucks. Let's see if this works. Yep. We got them all on. Hot snotted on. Not my best work, but it will do for this storm. Um, I don't I just got in from outside. I don't know if you guys have been watching. Please go follow Doug versus Carburetor. My god, that man's a genius when it comes to small engines because I just picked up a free snow uh not snowblower, leaf blower. And it works amazing for cleaning snow off cars. All right, that one's on. That one's on, yeah. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna back them off there real quick so I can put some grease on them or silver cream cheese. So next time I might have a chance of getting these guys out. Let's get, get some of this, and this one gets some of this. Yeah, good stuff. Just a smear of the good stuff. All right. That one's on. Oh, it's gonna be so much better now. All right, so that's that. The plow system is fixed and ready to go, back to being solid. Um, I gotta fix my winch wire next, so stay tuned for part two, which I'm gonna start filming right after this. So hit the like button, subscribe. If you guys like the video, like the video, it's common sense at this point in time. And yeah, guys, this is the update on Barney. <laughs> being a royal pain in my behind, but getting the job done nonetheless. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm going to do a better overview of this plow system. I realized in the beginning I did tell a little story of what it was and how I did it. It wasn't great. I was already ramped up for the day, and as you can tell, things just weren't going right. My welding skills were way off point. I've been better. I know you guys are going to rip me apart in the comments, and it's okay. I deserve it. But it's going to hold. It's going to be good for now. So hit the button, subscribe, do all that jazz. Make sure to go look at our webpage. It is the bomb right now. Doug's doing a lot of work on there. I'm hoping to get some fun stuff going on in there when I can. That's about it, guys. Catch you in part two. Deuces.